Based on my observations over the years, I really don't think it's human interaction that people are craving. You are now listening to Sorel Gar MD. Sorel Gar MD, let me share with you a story. Not just a story, my story. All right. I did my internship in Boston, not at Harvard. So I spent my days waking up early, rounding on patients, presenting my findings to residents and attendings, calling consults, calling radiology. The interns I worked with were fun and interesting. We even had this tradition. Every single Thursday, without fail, we would organize a bar night where we'd meet up, grab some drinks, and catch up and really try to connect with each other. And yeah, the hours were atrocious, and I definitely worked several weekends and holidays, but overall, I felt like I was part of a team, an intelligent, vivacious team of physicians. And then July came. I moved to Long Island. I started radiology. I spent 10 hours in front of a computer and dictated 120 chest x-rays on my first day. And I went home and I just felt empty. And I sat there and I just wondered, what the hell did I get myself into? See, a lot of people look down on radiology because of the lack of human interactions. Based on my observations over the years, I really don't think it's human interaction that people are craving. In fact, I know it's not. You can see this when you go to the airport and you look around and you see everyone staring vapidly into their smartphone, looking for something to capture their attention. Or you can feel it when you're at a party and you notice that you've just spent five minutes listening to someone drone on about their dog. Or you can feel it at work or at home or at the gym when you pay your taxes. You see, I don't necessarily think it's human interaction that makes our lives worthwhile. I think what we're really looking for is to resonate with some sort of signal. We are looking for that signal in a world full of noise. You see, in MRI physics, an RF current is able to deflect the magnetic moment of a precessing hydrogen proton downwards because it spins at the same frequency. Said another way, that RF current is able to resonate with that proton and affect its change in order to produce signal. We are looking for something, something, to resonate with us. And the problem with radiology relative to other fields, like medicine, is that early on those images that are on the screen simply do not resonate with us. We can't make sense of them. We don't know how they were created. We don't know what they're meant to show us. We don't know how to manipulate them effectively. And we can't generate signal from those images the way we can generate signal from seeing a patient and performing a history and physical exam. Unfortunately, this is a problem you cannot solve by simply reading a book. And you can go to an attending for help, but sometimes they can help and sometimes they can't. And you have to realize that an attending solved this problem several years ago, possibly decades ago. I think a good way to solve this problem is to watch a video of a radiologist discussing how they interpret imaging and basically discussing out loud what's going through their head as they're looking at imaging. But the truth is even that is a poor substitute. In fact, I think the only way to get around this problem is to continue to show up to work, continue to feel a little disconnected, go home, read about radiology, feel even more depressed, and then go to bed and come back again to do it all over again the next day. Said another way, it takes time. I think it takes about six months before those images on the screen start to speak to you. And after that happens, you're no longer going to care about that patient interaction because you will have found something else to focus your mind on. In one minute of looking at a CT, you can make a hundred times more diagnosis than one minute spent talking to a patient. And the truth is we all know this, society knows this, and that's why there is no patient in any hospital anywhere who does not visit radiology during their stay. Because radiology relative to other specialties, other specialties might get consulted on a patient. But radiology is always consulted for every single patient in the hospital. Our reports matter, and our skills interpreting images matters. So if you're just starting a radiology residency and you're just not feeling it, don't worry. This is normal. This too shall pass. 
And I'm fairly confident that over time you will learn to love radiology just like I do. And that's what I want to say. I'm Sorel Garmdi. Peace, love, and radiology. Take care.